Hey guys, Greg Jackson here. We are going to be doing a concept we like to call the Mongolian attack. Now this is named after the uh, armies of Genghis Khan and, and subsequent Khans that had a very nifty trick among their many, many, many strategical strengths that a nifty trick where they would run right at you and they'd get you all riled up and oh my goodness, we, you know, it's a, it's a huge fight. And then they would pull back and as they pulled back and you moved into the space that was created, your army would lose cohesion, right? Your, your uh, cavalry would get out way in front of your uh, infantry and you'd lose cohesion, but you would also, even in that space, they would, they're riding their horses this way, going that way, away, and you're running, you're chasing them behind them because you think they're retreating, right? It's basically a false retreat. Well, we got them, we get excited. That's why they, they overextend themselves. And then their horses are still going this way and they would move around here and they practice shooting uh, their bows backwards where the horse is going that way and they're shooting this way. And so it would walk their enemy right into these very uh, disadvantageous positions. And then of course they conquered the entire world using them. Um, uh, not Europe, obviously, not the entire world. Don't send letters, close enough. So anyway, uh, the, that concept of having a fake retreat and then making your opponent pay is a very, very important concept because you can utilize it. And it's very close to a three quarter surrounding theory. Please watch that video. Um, but you can utilize it basically pretending to move away. And then when they attack you, having a little trap ready for them. So let's take a look at how that works in all different ranges of combat. So my man James is going to come in here. We're going to set up several techniques using this false retreat. Now, when we say false retreat, let's really be specific here. It doesn't necessarily mean that I have to try to run away and then kick him or whatever when he comes in. It's basically leaving an opening wherein they feel like they can get you. That is a very, very easy thing to manipulate as long as you have it preset. So we'll do something that's very hard to land on somebody, which is a back leg sidekick. Now, even in any sport that you're doing, including Muay Thai, sidekicks are very legal. You guys can do them. It's just getting there can be a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shallow kick on purpose. In other words, I am going to be in here fighting. I throw my little jab. I'm going to throw a leg kick, but I'm going to throw it short on purpose. And then it's going to look like I'm off balance. So I go like this and I go big swing and a miss. And this leg comes down here. Well, now James is no fool. He says, oh, well, look at this. I've got three quarters of his back. I can come in with hooks, I can come in with my own kicks, I can come in with whatever I want, I can come in with straight punches. But because it looks like I'm off balance, because I went like this, he's gonna move into this space. But I placed this leg on purpose to line up with his body here, so that when he comes in with whatever attack he comes in, my sidekick will be able to drive him in. Now a sidekick by itself is a strong enough technique, but if I can get that car crash mentality where he's moving in to get me, and I am striking him at the same time, then we're really getting into some extra power that the Mongolian attack can provide. 